my name is Jonathan Jalbert, and I'm a clarinetist from Houston, Texas. I was a part of NYO USA in the summer of 2016 on its European tour. One of my favorite things about being a part of NYO USA was having the opportunity to meet other young musicians from around the country who were not only fantastic at playing their instruments, but were wonderful human beings all around. They inspired me and showed me how fun music making can be. Music is so great, and it can be so easy to just be enticed into picking up your instrument, playing through all of your repertoire, and being satisfied with that. However, sometimes in order to improve, we have to do fundamental exercises. These exercises include, but are not limited to, scales, arpeggios, long tones, long bows, those weird buzzing things that brass players do. It could be playing without the register key for us clarinet players, and the list goes on forever. I know it can be a real drag to do these fundamental exercises sometimes, but they help us to improve exponentially at playing our instruments, and that helps us to play repertoire better later on, so we have to do it. Today, I'm going to share some tips with you that help me to enjoy doing fundamentals. We're going to put the fun in fundamentals. Hopefully, you'll leave this video feeling refreshed and ready to practice your fundamentals. Or, if not, at least you'll have the motivation to do them. Tip number one. See the big picture behind doing fundamentals. Remember that the reason that we do fundamentals is to limit the ability of our skill on an instrument to dictate how well we can communicate musical ideas. The goal is for our instrument to be an extension of our voice rather than a hindrance to our ability to make music. Tip number two. Know why you're doing a specific exercise and get what you need to out of that exercise. Don't just speed through your fundamentals. That can be a waste of your time and energy. Instead, stay focused on doing the exercise at hand as well as you would play an actual piece of music. Tip number three, mix it up. Have several different exercises that you can rotate between from day to day. This will keep the fundamentals fresh and exciting. You can also consider investing in a complex scale or method book that will help you to explore new exercises. Tip number four, don't be afraid to sound bad sometimes. Occasionally, in order to get to the right feeling in our playing, we have to make a sound that doesn't maybe sound the prettiest. Of course, don't let yourself make more bad sounds than you need to, but sometimes figuring out what's wrong in your playing can help you to get to what's right. While you're experimenting and isolating different skills, it can be okay to make a funky sound every once in a while. For example, I do a lot of weird voicing exercises that don't make me sound very good, but when I apply those skills from those fundamental exercises to playing real music, it helps out. Tip number five, make your fundamentals sound pretty. If you can make a scale or a technique exercise sound beautiful, then playing repertoire will be a piece of cake. So to recap, tip number one, remind yourself of the big picture of why you're doing fundamentals. Tip number two, stay focused while you practice and your improvement will make it more fun for you. Tip number three, try new things. Tip number four, don't be afraid to sound bad every once in a while. And last but not least, tip number five, remember to just make music. Once again, I'm Jonathan Jalbert and I hope you enjoyed this NYOU mini masterclass. If you like this video or if you just like clicking on things, make sure you hit the subscribe button below. Be sure to check out the other incredible NYOU mini masterclasses on the NYOU channel. Thanks for joining me today. Happy practicing!